These are the brand new Poker Red Mega Bonus Mystery Packs 5.0. Now, I actually went and got a new scale, and I just happened to weigh these packs and check this out. This is what I found out. So, we have two of the Poker Red Mega Bonus Mystery Packs. I did not plan on weighing these initially, but uh, I just had these up here and I wanted to, to try out my new scale. So I just happened to grab these. Now we got this Mega Bonus Mystery Pack that weighs 143 grams. And then we have this other one, which weighs 145.5. So it's like about two and a half grams um, more in weight. Usually, you know, in the older packs, you're able to weigh them, uh, but let's find out. Let's see if there is a difference. So this was the heavier one. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and open the lighter one first, and we got a red pack. So real quick, guys, if you don't know about these uh, mega bonus packs, so these are the brand new version, and they are going for fifty-seven dollars. So first, we have a minimum green guarantee of a Scarlet Violet Sword and Shield uh, era pack. Then we have a 1 in 5 chance of red XY Sun and Moon era pack. Then we have silver 1 in 10 chance of black and white era. Then we have a gold 1 in 25 chance of Wizards of the Coast, Diamond and Pearl, Platinum, Hard Gold, Soul Silver, and Vintage Japanese. That's actually new. The older ones did not bring this. Then we have rainbow 1 in 100 chance of getting two Sword and Shield or Scarlet and Violet era pack. Uh, and then you get one pack from each of the tiers below. So that would equal to a total of six packs as well. Then we have this uh, new chase that we got seated one out of 50, Mega Bonus Throwback Edition. So these bring five XY and Sun and Moon era packs. Uh, and then we also get one of the Mega Bonus Mystery Packs. So these are going for $57. And uh, there's just a lot more chances now. I think there is a good way of being able to, you know, open up older packs. So let's see, we got Astro Radiance, Sapporo Forces, Crown Zenith, Obsidian Flames, and Pokemon Go. Also guys, excuse my voice, I'm coming out of a cold. Uh, but I wanted to record this. I wanted to open these so bad. I was just looking forward to it. Uh, so let's get right into this. Let's see what we got in our Astro Radiance. And let's see if that weight difference has anything to do with the packs that come in here. Or the hits. Maybe we got some hollow hits with the heavier one. If there is a vintage or something crazy like that. Pretty sure with all modern packs. I don't know if there's I don't think there's a single one. We got a Glaceon Hollow. I mean not hollow. Regular uh, ultra rare. But as I was saying, I'm not sure if there is modern packs that you could weigh. I don't think so. Um, from what I've heard, I haven't done a lot of research on that. So if you guys know better on that, uh, let me know below in the comments if there is a modern pack that you can weigh. As of now, I don't think so. But uh, Buddy Buddy Poffin, that's very playable right now. Got Matang and Dun Dun Sparse. So no hits so far. We got Crown Zenith. I got high hopes for this one. Uh, Crown Zenith is a great set guys, um, all of the singles in here have been going up, all those gold cards, um, a lot of the, you know, illustration rares that come in here, so I think it's a great set, you could still get it at a pretty good price, I know Best Buy just had this crazy uh, early, what is it, July, Black Friday in July or something like that, where they're selling the ATBs for 40 bucks. Um, ooh, we got a hit. We got the Riolu. Very, very cool. And let's see if it could be a double. Oranguru. Very nice. I'll take this Riolu. But yeah, guys, go ahead. Maybe look around because, you know, there's always deals going on. And Crown Zenith is definitely a great set. Let's see. We got Obsidian Flames. And Obsidian Flames, we got like three different, four different Zards that come in here. See what we got. If we're able to pull one of these Zards today, Tad Bulb and a Dark Cry Hollow. All right, Pokemon Go. All right, Pokemon Go. We got the Mewtwo hovering over the city. That's like pretty much it, I think. I don't think there's any other crazy cards that come in this set. Oh, I saw a hit back there. Saw some black borders. See what we got, Spinarak, 
Doing the tone and Conkolder V. All right, so we got a regular V card, not too bad. All right, guys, moment of truth. And let's see, yeah, this is our red. Okay, I forgot that these now have the Polka Rev uh, logo on there. I haven't bought these in a while. I think the last ones I got were like 2.0 or 3.0 where it didn't have that yet. And when, of course, we get the Polka Rev sticker. So let's take a look and see what we got in our red. So this should be Sun and Moon era. Oh, a little bit disappointing. Burning Shadows is now one of the best uh, Sun and Moon sets. Honestly, I even forgot what comes in here, but let's see. Let's see if we can get a hit. Um, you know, Sun and Moon has awesome sets. I love Team Up, Cosmic Eclipse, uh, Unbroken Bonds. That's another really great set here. But uh, yeah, I think Burning Shadows is not super crazy. I don't think it has a really crazy chase card. Let's see if we could, you know, get some sort of hollow. Pampor. I like that Alolan Night Tails, not gonna lie. Oh, we do have a hit. We got Golly Sapad GX. All right, better than nothing. We did manage to get a GX card. Pretty, pretty cool. All right, guys, so that was the lighter Poker Ref pack. And uh, we got our next one here. Let's see if that weight difference has to do with anything. So we got three hits in that one. Let's see if we get maybe more hits. Okay, so we got a green, but maybe, who knows? We got more hits in the packs. I'm not sure. So there is the green. We got Powder Evolve, which is honestly one of the better sets from, uh, what's it called? Scarlet and Violet. We got Scarlet and Violet Base, Crown Zenith, Obsidian Flames and Paradox Rift. All right, so we only got one Sword and Shield era pack in here. Let's see what we got in Paldea Evolve. Now, Paldea Evolve is an awesome set. It has that Magic Carp uh, illustration rare that just uh, keeps, well, I think it hit a ceiling for now, but it's like at around 130 bucks. Why am I doing a card trick? It's like at around 130 bucks. And that was a card that was worth like 20, 25 bucks when it first came out. And it's just pretty insane seeing how uh, that card has climbed up in price. Got Sandy Gast, and we got a Chi Yu E X. All right, so there's one hit, not too bad. Chi Yu. All right, Scarlet and Violet Base. Let's see what we got. Here's a code. And let's see, we got a Palmo Toad School. Rotom, and there was some other trainer card behind. But uh, there's that Miriam Special Illustration Rare in here, and that's uh, pretty much the big chase. Uh, that card actually did start climbing back up in price. Uh, it was going for something like 50 bucks or something like that. Again, beautiful artworks. Um, you know, if you guys are looking to, you know, I, I love the Pokemon hobby, I love collecting. And uh, if you guys are ever, you know, looking for really nice cards that could potentially go up in price, just take a look at the artworks and the Pokemon has a lot to do with it as well. Um, now here's the thing guys, I have gotten comments. Uh, recently actually I got a comment, we got a Bidoof to go up with that other artwork. Uh, but guys, I've been getting comments. Uh, I don't want you guys to think that I only care about the financial part of Pokemon. Uh, sometimes people say like, what was that comment I got? Uh, I honestly don't care because I know it's not true, but sometimes people say, oh, you know, you only care about the money, blah, blah, blah. And no, that's not it. Um, I love Pokemon. I love the hobby. I love collecting it. I love going to all these shows, interacting with the community. And the thing is, if I can somehow make some financial gain out of doing what I love, then by all means, and I, I know there's people that feel the same way. But uh, if, ooh, we got a Poppy illustration rare. But if I ever give that impression where guys, I'm just in it for like, oh, I just want money. No, that's not me at all whatsoever. And uh, I really hope you guys don't get that impression. So let's see, we got this and then the minimum guarantee green pack. We got Fue Coco, Roark, Steenie, Simipore, Flamigo, 
Tatsurigi, more Peko. All right, last pack of the day. Green, oh, our sticker just like flew out of there. Completely forgot about that. But uh, yeah, let me know what you guys think about these uh, new, oh, okay, we got Crown Zenith. Let me know what you think about these brand new Poker Ref uh, Mega Bonus Mystery Packs. So these are going for 57. Uh, they're $2 more than uh, what they used to be. But of course you get uh, the rainbow uh, one of 100 uh, tier now. And then we have the mega uh, throwback. So, you know, we get two more tiers and for two more dollars. That's, that's not bad at all. And you know, you could get really lucky uh, by hitting one of those and you know, getting a vintage pack. So I think it's a pretty great price. Let's see what we got. And like and rock. So it was three and three hits. I'm not sure about the weight difference there, but who knows. But anyway, guys, that was it for today. Uh, let me know what you guys think. And if you enjoyed this video, consider leaving a thumbs up and I'll see you on the next one.